guys how you guys doing welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be making a grilled cheese sandwich so first let me go ahead and get this oven going because you know i didn't do that but um i sprayed my pan and the grilled cheese sandwich i'm making is a dupe from starbucks i used to go there all the time get the um sandwich them sandwiches are expensive and um so i figured out a way to make it at home but i use this to spray my pan and we're going to use extra sharp cheddar Parmesan, provolone, we're going to use this for the bread, is this sourdough. So this is the grilled cheese sandwich right here, so I always cut it in half. Make some Kool-Aid. Bomb with um, ice. Okay, so instead of me buying the um, sandwich, I only buy like if I'm traveling. If I'm like, I'm away to my hometown or I may stop there that morning, give me a grilled cheese, a wine David up bean frappuccino, or what's it, a caramel macchiato, either one. That's when I get it. But if I'm just like here, I make it. <laughs> so, um, but I first started making it when I was in Virginia. I was like, I cannot pay. It's just I wasn't, you know, at the time I was like, I just need to make it. You know, so I go tell you, I looked up the recipe. Um, I bought all the stuff I needed. I came home and made it. And I've been making it since, but since I've been here, I made it like February, March sometime, one of them on. Maybe in March. March is amazing, guy. Had made it in a while. I forgot kind of how I made it. Like, Lord. But. It's not like we are doing anything special today at all. Literally nothing. And I say that every day because I'm being honest. Like, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm talking to Tim. We may be here all day. It's too hot to go to the park. It's just too hot. <laughs> So, yeah. But, I do. I would love to be able to do all my DIY projects. But, it's all good. It's all good. But that garlic butter that's on the toast. Y'all, wow. And I'm gonna tell y'all, I used to not like grilled cheese sandwiches until I tried the one at Starbucks. Until. Before that, no, I did not like grilled cheese sandwiches. I, I just thought it was disgusting. But, next, yeah. And I haven't been feeling like defining my curls lately. So my hair has just been, if I had it laying like flat, I used um the foaming settings. The foam and satin spray, I think is what it's called. And I used um, Eco Gel. But since then, it's come up, you know. And I've been wearing my silk scarf to bed. So, yeah. I don't know. This is 
tonight. My soup was not the best last night. Hey, um. Getting full, y'all. This time it's a lot. I did a uh, vision board. I'm like, I made it on Canvia. Canvia is what I use to make my thumbnails. And I use it to just do a lot of things concerning my videos and other stuff. But I got on there so I'm going to make a vision board. And my vision board is very, very like. I mean, of course, I want to work on uh, so much stuff. Um. Okay, I have a lot. I work on my hair. I have my hair goals on there. Um, body goals on there. Car dreams. Money. Um, goals and dreams. The new equipment that I want to get for my channel. The I want all I want all Apple products. So, and those are expensive. So I'm trying to put that in the vision. The vision for my office um, success on YouTube. I'm sorry. My relationship with with the Lord and my dream home. I have all that on here, and my and being a better mother. I do believe in making vision boards. Um, before I had my girls, and before um, I made I had a vision board a long time ago. It wasn't a big one. It was real simple. It was before I had kids, and one of them, the things was one of the things on there was to have kids, healthy kids, and move to a new state. Um, I don't think I still got that vision board or whatever. I actually went and got magazines and cut stuff out and put it, you know. So um, a few of those things actually have come true, but it's still a lot that I want to do. I've been doing YouTube. I started YouTube about six years ago. It might have been six years ago. Probably six years ago. My first video, I think, was six years ago. I had like 4,000 some views. And so I was really like doing, you know, at first, my first video was like a tech video. Like I did um, reviews on my new iPhone. That I'm actually, um, I think this is the one <laughs> that I'm recording on right now, my old one. I did an unboxing, um, this may be the one, I gotta go back and look, but, um, on this phone that I'm recording on now, I was so excited about the phone, y'all, the review is just, it's so funny, like, yeah, you could tell I was, like, just new at, new at it, like, just happy, you know, I had the phone, all this stuff, it was just crazy, but I was just so cute, I was like, okay. But it got 4,000 some views, y'all. That video was going crazy at first. Like, and somewhere along the lines, I think I stopped. I stopped. I just stopped. Like, I feel like my channel would be a lot further along if I had not have stopped. I, if I continued to do that and continue to. But I let people and situations and things kind of just derail me off of off course um this time when it comes to youtube i am not letting up i am coming in with a vengeance um and i'm gonna keep going um like i said um back then i um when i was recording i was actually just using a phone i didn't even have a camera honey i was using a phone yeah it was six years ago like this is my first, so I'm watching somebody else right now, Crown K. But this was my first video. And this, I'm using the phone now that I did that video on. This is the phone I'm recording on. This is my, this is the new one that I have. Um, well, which is a, this ain't number 12, but it's so funny to see this phone that I'm recording on here. Recording. And this is the phone that I did the review on 
years ago. Um, like I said at the time, y'all, I was like so excited to do YouTube. I was like still going through some things, you know, as far as my health was concerned. But that video, like, it was going, y'all. It was going, 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 honey. That video was going. I watched it like a little while ago. <laughs> I was just laughing because it was so cute. I'm like, look at me. Um, so yeah, after that, I did the. I started. I kept doing my channel, like for that whole like year. And I stopped. Um, at a wig. I had a wig review. I did a wig review that I purchased. I just purchased a wig and I decided to do a video on it. And that's when I stopped. That was stopped that year. And when I first made this first video here, after I made that video, I stopped for like six. Well, it probably we well, six. It probably about six months. I stopped. That was a mistake. Um, after the six months, I started doing videos again for the remainder of that year. And then, um, like I said, I just. Uh, Stop. I let people and you know everybody get into my ear, you know, and it wor it worked, <laughs> you know, it worked. And then um, I even have my fertility story on there. Like I said back then when I was recording y'all, I'm telling you, I literally was not like I feel like I was really really scared of the camera. I was doing it and I wanted to do it, but I was kind of scared. So some videos I left out a lot of details about things but I was dealing with a lot of health situations and stuff like that some of the videos I was sick I didn't feel good but I was still recording whatever and I, I was always using this phone I didn't have a camera then because um, cameras were expensive that's why I was excited about that iPhone back then I was like Lord Jesus I'm just so excited to have this phone because I was just shocked so I didn't have a camera, so like I said, I was using the phone, and it was just so funny because I used that phone for years, making the rest of my videos. I used that phone, and um, now I have a camera. But like I said, the SD card situation, I can't find the SD cards that I had in my storage unit, and then I have to purchase more SD cards. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm recording on this again. It's all good though. Um, SD cards are not cheap, so when I bought the ones I had, I was going, you know, of course, to use those, and I can't find them. So we are in this place where I'm still, I'm having to use my phone again. But I would say, don't ever give up, because if I had never given up, I would be a lot further along. I'm not new to this baby like I've been doing this I've been putting out this content and as much as I want to see things just pop up, pop off and just go and you know and great things I know it's the process it's gonna take some time and I'm just gonna keep uploading these videos regardless of how it looks so like I said I can't I stopped after the six-year mark like at that six-year mark I stopped that year and then I waited a few years, came, I don't even know if it was a few years, and I waited and I came back like two years ago. Yeah, I came back two years ago, and I was doing good there the two years, like, I think I just got discouraged again because of the views. I was like, nobody watching my channel, you know. So then, I ended up getting pregnant, and kind of, that's what started me to bringing my channel back and stuff like that so I started that well it even started before that kind of because I had been recording it in this in the midst of all of that I ended up being becoming pregnant so I just been uploading videos so it's like my little montage of videos and I got this how many videos I got on my channel I have 106 videos on my channel. Like I said, I'm not giving up this time. This time is a no. Um, like I said, some people want, when you know they get on here, they want that people to be fake and try to act like everything is all together. Baby, look. 
everything here is not all together, honey. <laughs> there is no such thing as perfect. We strive for it, but there's no such thing as perfect. So the people that's out there trying to make something like, oh, everything is just so wonderful. And some people are those type of people where they don't like to show what, what's going on and what they're going through. I personally don't either. I'm not going to sit here and cap, but I will say if it's necessary for me to share something, I will. Because I don't want people to get a false narrative about um, narrative about life, about things that's going on. You know, making it seem like everything is just so perfect. And, you know, I just got everything flowing. And, you know, it's like, yeah, at the same time, that's a good thing if you do have it that way. But it's, it's making it seem to people as if everything is perfect. You know, in a sense, it's just fake. And I don't. And I hope and pray that I do not ever become fake on this platform because I want to always keep it, keep, you know, being honest with you guys about, about just things. And, you know, and if I'm not feeling my best that day, I can come and say that, you know, but a lot of people just, it's like to make, to get all this stuff, you know, and views and stuff like that is just. Put the fake out there, you know, and I'm just not here for it. So, I mean, I'm just not here for it. Like I said, it's sad, but it's very much true. Um, and it seems that the world today is on this new thing where silly stuff exceeds and goes far. People don't want real stuff no more. People want a bunch of silly stuff. And I don't, I still don't understand it. I don't get it. If you come and talking correct and saying great things and trying to encourage and trying to bring people up and build people, that gets nothing. But if you on here doing something stupid or whatever and just being silly, I mean, it's good to be silly. There's nothing wrong with that, but there needs to be a definite balance. If you just on here and everything that you're doing is about that, and it's just kind of at the same time, it's like, come on now. Like, God gives us a call. Every person has a call. If you feel like you were led to do something like YouTube, you still have a call to the people. Yeah, some people's call is to make people laugh. Fine, but you still have to balance it. You can be called to make somebody laugh, but you also need to be giving somebody something that they can take and learn from you. There should never be a moment where people are just literally just watching you be silly all day because that stuff only lasts for a little while. But real life lessons and real things that's happening in life, that's what lasts. And those t times where you need to be able to fight the enemy, and I'm not talking about a person, I'm talking about the enemy, and you need to be able to keep your mind together, those are the moments where you're going to need God. Those are the moments where you're going to need something to uplift you and something spiritual to guide you, to get you through those moments. It's, like I said, nothing wrong with being silly, but some people take that stuff and they go completely crazy with it it is ridiculous i mean like i said i mean i've seen stories about people faking like faking stuff and they have two million almost two million followers hell if everybody found out that you were a lie why do you still have all that because people love to engage in nonsense and fake people do not if you bring somebody real most of the time people be like i keep it 100 i keep it real but how because if you do you're not going to follow nonsense that's just my opinion you're not going to follow nonsense if you claim that you keep it 100 so come here why are you walking like that with your back my back hurt this is hurting i'm trying to be cool mm -hmm. about it what <laughs> I'm over here laughing. It's like, <laughs> yeah, my back hurt. <laughs> I'm tired. Want this? I can't eat them on full. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even like seriously. It's just a sandwich. Like the way you ate that. It's good. <laughs> yeah. So. Like I said, I just wanted to give my little advice or my little take, look at me, my little take on the situation when it concerns the situation with people. Like I said, people Yay! claim they won't, they claim they swear and down, you know, I, I'm a real one, I'm a, yeah, you sure? Because, yeah, not seeming like you are. <laughs> 
but I need to get up off here, you know. Like I said, if I don't if I don't come with anything, y'all, I'm gonna come with one thing about me now for now on with my channel, I'm just gonna come to y'all with with stuff. Like as far as like I'm gonna come on here and I'm gonna just if I have to put a ten minute video out with me giving y'all talking to y'all, giving y'all encouragement, I will. Because I, I just feel like people need that. If anything else, people need to be encouraged. People need to be uplifted. You know, because we don't have enough of that out there. What we do have out there, though, is enough of silliness and drama and dumb stuff. That's what we do have out there, though. But real stuff, people just, oh, they just, they adapt to it like it's a ding, like it's a, um, a tick. It, like, it, it automatically attaches to them. It's sad. It, it really is sad. So, like I said, for me, I'm not claiming to be no perfect person. I'm not perfect, but... I am a no-nonsense type of person. That's who I am. I've always been that way. Um, and it's just it's just what I've always been. I've been a no-nonsense type of person. And I'm being honest with y'all. Like, it's a lot of things about myself that I do want to work on and want to fix and want to get together. And I'm still working on me, you know. So, if I'm coming to y'all and, and I make mistakes or whatever, please don't hold it to me because I'm learning just like y'all. But at the same time, I do um, want to come on here with the not with good stuff to give. I want to give something because something good as far as like my encouragement, whatever I give you. Because like I said, we are here for a purpose, not to just be silly all the time. And everybody just love that silly mess that everybody like to put out there and there and, and go viral over silly stuff. But stuff that's real cannot. It's just not. I have not seen real stuff. To the level of crazy silly dumb stuff go viral the way it does it's sad so when they say the world needs to do better that's for sure that's for sure because real stuff nowadays is just almost like somebody coming on being real somebody coming on you know with some knowledge and some you know it's like that just takes a whole back seat to the to the nonsense so hey we all like what we like, but I'm about growing and getting better and being better because nothing was handed to me. You know, I, I thank God I met my husband at, like I did. I met him at a very young age. We were together four years before we got married. We've been together ever since, and there's not been no walk in the park at all, okay? It's been good, a lot of good, more good than bad, but it's been a lot of, like, silly nonsense. So, like I said, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and sign off because my Kool-Aid gone, honey. I ain't got no more. I just got ice, and I can't. I'm thirsty in my refrigerator over there. So, and I'm over here. So, and we already about, like, almost at 30 minutes of me talking. So, I got to go. Y'all have a blessed day, okay? Y'all, I have not really been recording, but I decided to go ahead and cook. So, I mean, like I said, this is not like a traditional meal, of course. This is just what we kind of want. Usually we have broccoli because we've been obsessed with broccoli. But I'm going to make these green beans. I always buy these. And um, I'm going to go ahead and cut that little big open like it. We're going to go ahead and spread it out. All in the pan. This pan ain't even big enough. Don't see me spreading it out. Let's see. So yeah, these Trader Joe's um, wings. I have two bags. I'm just making one right now because you know your girl just, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna take some of this. Can y'all see that? Minced garlic. It's weird because I hate the smell of this stuff, but inside your food, baby. Mm -mm. This stuff is bomb. Um, so I just go ahead and put that in there. And I add as I go. You know, the butter, baby. Like, I don't like onions. So I don't even know if I see that onion powder. Let me just the barley. I ain't going to add the stuff yet. I'm going to add the barley counter. And then this is the 
secret ingredient that I always add. So I'm gonna take these. Do what it do for a little while, and then I come back to it. They only give you like a few. Look at this little BA wings. I may as well go ahead and make the other one, but I think I'm not gonna do that because we ain't gonna. This is just enough. So I'm gonna put these in the oven. Hey Alexa, set an alarm for 45 minutes. 45 minutes starting now. Okay, so basically I got my alarm set for my wings. Cause yeah, I want them to be nice and crispy. If they're not crispy, I'm gonna stick them in the air fryer, baby, because I have to have crispy wings. Like I've not made those green beans since we moved here. So yeah. I'm just like coming to y'all right now and then just cooking randomly. I'm not, you know. Real content, baby. Real. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, I'm not cooking like crazy, a crazy dinner or anything like that. Just simple. Really simple. And like they're starting to get done. And this one is a prime example to me. Well, if I can pick it up. I'm trying to show y'all. And this thing will not let me be worried. Like... It look like that. So yeah. These are gonna have a lot of flavor, baby. And I always I usually try to put some red pepper flakes over top. It's done. Well I really don't know. Unfortunately I don't have my red pepper flake, which is what I usually use. It's part of my seasoning. So unfortunately, I will not be able to do that part of it. She don't, okay? She, yeah. Well, this is ridiculous. Yo, these green beans are bomb, okay? They are done. Finished. Results. I like my wings crispy. These are crispy. If they drip, we skip. Boom. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so. I'll hit. Boom. Boom. I'm gonna go. Because I'm ready to eat, okay? Ready to sit down and eat. My husband is having issues with his back. So, yeah. We may have to go to the emergency room to see what is going on because look at him. We're trying to do our daily walk through the park, but he can't even walk. Shit, my bad, shit, my Oh, yeah. The bug shaded his skin. No. Oh, cool. Let's Come on, Marvin. Yeah. Look at the face, baby. Yeah, look at that. What is he left his shell there. And that's what we have to do in life. We have to get rid of the dead stuff that's holding us back and keep moving forward. I know. Like, Hello, oh, everyone. How are you guys doing always, today? We always have our birthday. Look at this camera quality on this iPhone. This is the iPhone 7 Plus I'm recording on. Like, I, I just, I'm just so used to my camera. But, yeah, we just picked up a pickup order from Walmart. And now I am on my way to take this stuff back to the house because we have to take Bubba here my husband, I call him Bubba. We have to take him to the ER because his back ain't working. It's like, no, but. <laughs> Ouch. Why you play like that? Ouch. I mean, not his, it, it really, I mean, it kind of ain't working. It like, hurts when I laugh. It's like he strained his back or something. I don't know what he done done to his back, but he's done something and it's not working. So that's one thing I know for sure. Cause he can't do nothing. So. Yeah, that's the gist. And I think I um, 
I think I showed it to y'all. I was putting in that shit. Man, stop blowing the horn at me. <laughs> so yeah, out here trying to please people. Please yourself. Please God. That's what you do. Stop playing with me. Don't try me though, because I will go there. I'm not, I'm telling you, I'm just not there. Like, and I'm not the one. Literally trying to push me out into traffic. I got my kids in the car. Cause she wanna rush. Let's her get her together first. Become this peaceful person. Put that person back somewhere, ba way back there, where she's supposed to be. Put that demon in the trap. That's what I'm gonna call it. Put that demon in the trap, so I can go ahead and be that person I wanna be. So I can go ahead and go get that protection for myself and my girls and my and us. That stuff. When they say the baby mama harder than a lot of you niggas, I'm probably her. <laughs> like, I'm probably her, y'all. Trying to change from her. I'm telling you. Trying to change from her. And I know a lot of y'all women on here on YouTube and, and across the world and can relate. Like I said, working on yourself is a daily process, honey. Working on yourself is a daily process. Working on yourself never stops. I'll tell you that now. So whoever said you get to a per certain part and you stop now, you consistently working on yourself. You see him nothing on all that ground. I knew you were going to say something crazy. Ground like that I just knew it like I just was waiting I didn't know what it was what you was gonna say that's why I got quiet for a Putting minute I just knew that you was gonna say something I, I knew I, he was gonna say something <laughs> I didn't know what he was gonna say and I did but that I knew he was gonna say something and I'm that keeping dude, that in you can ask that dude you can ask that dude what he do for a living he be like man I spread seed I spread my seed <laughs> literally yeah out here spreading seed everywhere, man. Putting it in the fertile ground. I know you're going to... Hello, you guys. It's been a while. Um, since I've been on here from earlier, from like... It's later in the day. Just know that. I think I came to y'all this morning around, what, 10 or 11? But my husband... But um, we did take end up taking my husband to the emergency room, and uh, yeah, um, what is it called? What do you have infl? What is it? He has it. His back is inflamed, right? Yeah, yeah. I have inflammation in inflammation my back. Inflammation in his my back, lower back, his lower back. Yeah. From a from a sprain. From a sprain, so he literally can't really do much. Can't do a lot, like you know. So you have three flight of steps. I have to go up. Yeah, we live on the third floor. And unfortunately, it took it took, it took a lot it, just to get it down. It almost took them like an hour to get down the steps. Like I'm gonna have to take these glasses off because I can't. Like it almost took them an hour to get down the steps. So yeah, that was crazy. But um, so we kind of just leaving the emergency room, but probably about. 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes ago. It ain't been that long. But, um, so now we're on our way home. So, yeah, I have to take a chance. I have to order groceries tomorrow, and I have to take a chance and go ahead and get the groceries delivered again because he can't lift anything. And I can't lift all that stuff. Like, them waters and, no, I can't, I cannot do it. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to take a chance and get the stuff delivered. Um, man, I don't know. trying to think because I'm so nervous to do that because after somebody stole my groceries I'm still like scared but maybe I should order them small like order some and then what I did that before that's what I did and then they took um I think what uh, yeah I'm just gonna have to order it to be delivered because we was I was gonna do a thing where I picked it up but I'm not gonna be able to do that so like, I didn't show y'all what I was wearing today. I mean, I feel a little casual. Everything look a little messed up now because I've just been doing all this stuff or whatever. As you can see, my girl's scarves and um, things on her head is both coming off. And one of them is asleep back there. But, um, yeah. The doctor said that it's not good for me to lay around on it. She said you do need to be, like, trying to move it a little bit because you don't want to get stiff. So yeah, they prescribed them three, three medications. One of them, I don't know how with insurance, 
you still have to pay something. I just, that right there, that logic to me is Not just Not as much anyway as you have yeah, to pay. And I have good insurance. Good insurance. And they take a lot out of the check. So it's like, so to be honest with you, I think it's absolutely crazy to, when you find out you still have to pay any amount of, you know, being that so much comes out of the check for insurance. So I don't know. But like I said, it's just been, um, it's been a day. That's for sure. Tired, hungry, headache. I go home and get these girls something to eat because they are hungry. Like it's just been a day. It has really been a day. Hard to take care of business though with with toddlers. I have two toddlers, and it is so hard to do any kind of business with with them. Like it's like Lord Jesus doing any kind of business with toddlers is like a like a no. It is like a no. Okay. Them girls they started off good though but after a while baby mm -mm. they were not happy. it's been a day and i'm like checked out i am checked out because y'all we was at the er for like a few hours i have a splitting headache um because my husband had to be checked you know like i said he barely could walk barely could do a lot you know he cannot go to like i said i think i said this in the car he can't go to work for like three days he's on medication right now for the situation but it has been very stressful today so i'm gonna get comfortable and i'll probably come to y'all like tomorrow or whatever when i guess i feel more settled i need to eat something because i have a headache and i need to kind of just kind of really, i really just need to relax right now i have a lot going on i gotta get these two girls together um and being that he can't do much it's just kind of me so yeah i will talk to you guys later or tomorrow uh we will see Hello, you guys today's the first yeah first of all the first of august um so going to pick up some groceries um yeah going to pick up some groceries and then going back home i still got like a drinks and stuff being that it's going to be delivered to the house yeah but so we yeah we're so used to um like here in the state of charlotte i mean the city of charlotte um you know when you get your grocery or any item delivered the people they get the awesome idea to take your food home and never bring it to you <laughs> So, Not all the time. It was just it was just in that case. That's the only time I've had something like that happen. But um, I did just get like drinks and stuff delivered because I don't feel like carrying it up. Something happening, and you know we've been taught not to say that. Or but you know a lot of times when it when it continues to happen, it's, it's I mean it's not even like you're trying to speak the stuff into existence. It just is. Yeah. But. But we're looking forward to the day where we don't have all these issues, yeah. reoccurring issues over and over, coming to the same line in the sand every every year. Every year, yeah. It's, it's a loop. Got to break out of the loop. What extra like like bags? I want these type of bags, like the Marshall bags, um, to put up like multiple bags inside of those bags to make it like easier for us to. Basically, we did pick up our groceries. Nobody stole them right now. But I picked them up because I was scared of somebody stealing them. But we got our stuff. Thank you, Jesus. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go home and wait on the, the, wait on the milk, the juice, and the yeah. waters. Y'all, this girl so, just made me get out this car for no reason. Yeah. Bad as my back been feeling. Yeah, I thought... I, thought they forgot the milk but i realized hey, pop the trunk for nothing i think she just i think she's trying to grind that pain up i ain't trying to get your ring she, she want me to be off for a month dark right here like i don't know huh i'm about to find something that you can put on like your neck when i wash when i do my skincare i do my neck too so. yeah i've seen them baby they um 
flying around everywhere. They're right there. They not everywhere in Roanoke like they are here. They everywhere here. They at the grocery store. They everywhere here. Yeah. They not. It's not like that in Roanoke. At the duck pond is where you're gonna see the ducks. Okay. That's how that works. <laughs> <laughs> like the, you ain't seeing no ducks. Like, I I didn't see no ducks before. They about to open up something right there. Wow. I didn't but see no you before. you're not gonna see no ducks at like Walmart in Roanoke or Salem or Bend. You gonna see them at the duck pond only, baby. That's it. Right, you guys, this is okay. Okay, all right, you guys. This is um, all the items from the grocery store. Let's move her out the way. So this is all the items from the grocery store. Or whatever. I got two different kinds of bacon. I got the fully cooked bacon, and I got the bacon you have to cook for our breakfast bowls. I got the the sixty count large eggs. So I got that. I got this for. I'm making taco. A taco salad. So I got this. Um, I got this Parmesan for. Um, I'm making a Caesar salad, chicken Caesar salad. Um, these are kind of like planned out meals, by the way. Um, I got this for my spaghetti. This is my first time trying this, but I wanted to try this for my spaghetti. We'll see. I got this for the Caesar salad, but the as you can see, the lettuce is wilted. It looks a mess. So I'm going to get my money back from that because I did a pickup and they picked out the worst freaking... I'm not even going to be able to use most of this. So yeah, this is a waste. Um, I got this for like my ice cream and stuff because I wanted to do a hot fudge um, ice cream situation. And I got vanilla ice cream. Um, I also got these potatoes for our breakfast bowls. I got these here because we love eating the mozzarella bites. These are bomb. I eat these in another video. Period bomb. Strawberries. Um, this is for my, of course, I showed y'all me making my grilled cheese. Or you'll see in this vlog me making my grilled cheese um, Starbucks inspired sandwich. Um, nacho cheese for my baked potatoes and stuff like that. This is for my waters. This is another thing that I showed y'all in this vlog. I add these to my waters, baby. I'm telling you, I would drink water all day if I got this in it, baby. Um, this is um, croutons for my chicken Caesar salad that I'm going to make. I already got the chicken, so that's why, you know. And I got these because this is just a snack, baby. I always eat these as a snack. This is like, I eat these like just laying there watching TV, baby, eating those. I got this because sometimes I just like to have some gum. I know it's like, what? Um, lemonade back here. Lemonade. And I got this sour cream because my husband requires that we have sour cream in the house, of course. Um, butter, unsalted, of course. Like, you got to get that unsalted, baby, unsalted. Then I got some vanilla, um, low-fat yogurt. Um, then I got Parmesan cheese because I, I, I love Parmesan cheese. Um, I got kettle jalapeno chips. Kobe Jack cheese. I don't know if I showed y'all that. And I did show y'all the Fiesta cheese, right? I got three different types of cheeses. This is for the taco salad. This is just for, like, we make eggs and stuff like that. Um, this is my husband. Cheetos. He loves these. These are for my daughter. Ladies. I got Cerritos for um, my taco salad. I got wheat bread over here. Um... Of course, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. My girls love it. My husband loves it. I love it. So that's what we get. This here to make the um, chicken Caesar salad. Um, corn dogs for my girls. Um, let me see. I'm going to have to move some of this stuff, y'all. We can't even see. Um, there's ranch. I always keep ranch in the house. And Caesar dressing because we be we go through that. We be going through that. So we always go through that. Um, Captain Crunch because uh, we love Captain Crunch in here. Like I said, I was trying to show y'all this. This is the eight pack of macaroni and cheese. So, and I have a few other things coming that's going to be delivered between four and five. Hopefully, they get delivered. But um, that's just waters and juices and stuff like that. And then I have another order that I'm going to be making. Another um, grocery order that I'm going to be making because I need some other items that I actually forgot to order and of course I probably I don't know if I'm going to show those items because it's just random you know but also too I do want to make a trip to Trader Joe's eventually sometime like next week or whatever 
or the week after next because I definitely it'll probably be the week after next something like that because I got a few essential items that I get from Trader Joe's that I need and um I'm just kind of mad about this because look at that like what are we doing like what are we doing what are we doing but let's get this picture to show y'all the groceries do a grocery haul with y'all and um show you some of the items that we get and that we eat nothing is really healthy i'm i'm trying to gear up to go towards that healthier route which we will get there i'm kind of doing some research on some recipes so i can have those things that i like to eat and want to eat but i do want to i don't know if i discussed this but i did want to discuss um i have in my place, they have these lights that are like LED lights, but they're not like bulbs. Um, I cannot literally replace any of my bulbs in my place to white lights. So I have to use this ring light that I have around you guys just to get the some good lighting for you all for my videos. Or I'm going to have to get lamps and just set them up and put white lights. That's kind of what I was thinking to do because I... I'm in my wits end, y'all. Like, I need white lights. I need my place to be, like, white. Because it looks like my walls... It looks like the walls look yellow. The walls are not white. Let me clear you clear that up. The walls are, like, a light, 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 light taupe color or gray. But, y'all, I'm telling you, like... I'm just so mad about this light situation. So, yes. Um, I cannot change any of the lights. We checked them. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work for my videos. I really want white lights because I like the way the white looks. Um, but we're going to try to make it work, honey, because this is a temporary situation, honey, because God going to bless us with better in Jesus' name, y'all, in Jesus' name. I'm, a, I'm very grateful for where we start, but Lord knows I'm more excited and very excited for where, you know, he will eventually take us. Um, but, oh yeah, y'all, I forgot to show y'all this. I'm sorry, hold on. I forgot to show y'all. I always get this and I always get to show y'all because I always dump it out first. And I always get the 40, well, Lord, I always get the 40 pack of um, Rice Krispie Treats. And I already dumped them, so, in the pantry. So, yeah, I always get those, too. So, I just, that was the first thing I did when I came in. I opened up everything, and this is the first thing I opened up and then dumped them in the, my daughter loves these. I like these. We, my husband, we all like these. These is like, these are something I would let her take to school with her for lunch so yeah i have to keep these but that is pretty much like everything um when i do start doing like the stuff that i want to do around this place i will film that because i do a lot of diy projects honey i'm a diy girl honey that's what the, mm, i'm a virgo honey we diy it we diy it okay show me a picture of it and i'm gonna do it okay now i'm saying but I'm not for real though. If, if you show me a picture of something and like show me how it's done, I probably can do it. You know, so I do a lot of DIY projects. Um, and I, I, like, I enjoy it. Oh, and I'm also getting like, I'm doing this thing now. I'm going to start now because I'm like, why would I wait all the way then to do, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of nice pieces. When I was homeless, I wasn't able to even wear half of this stuff because I was homeless. I ain't had no, this stuff was in storage. So, um,. I do want to put some outfits together, some fall looks together. And I want to do like these different looks that I come up with and all this stuff like that, baby. So I'm getting that together now. So that third bedroom is a mess, honey. I got stuff everywhere, okay? Because I'm trying to um, put together outfits. And honey, I I know how to throw it together, honey. Mm. So that's what I'm finna do. Okay, but um, that room, I can't wait to get that room set up because in that room, that's why I'm going to be recording my videos. It's going to be bomb. I can't wait to get started on that project, y'all. But when I tell you, it's a lot. It's a lot. Like I said, um, I'm going to put this stuff up because some of this stuff got to go up. Like ice cream's in here, baby. Like, what are we doing? Because ice cream melts. So, like I said, I'm going to do a return on, like, this, these strawberries because I can't even use half of these. Um... I'm going to do a return on these and order more. I'm going to do a return on this and order more. Because that's just, that's that's horrible. The way they sent that. They, they, they a devil. So, seriously. I don't know if you guys have seen the viral TikTok video. I think it was on TikTok or 
Instagram. It was one of them. I seen it on um, Facebook. Somebody posted it on Facebook of this these Caucasian racist. Well, these racists um, beating up this black man, and then all these other people. Well, all these other black people joined in to kind of help the black guy because he was being literally beat up by these white people. Why these racists? I am sick and tired of the narrative of black people only fight black people can't swim black people this black people that all the stuff about black people but in this video you clearly see these white people jump on this black man he was not he did not hit anybody he did not harm anybody so why touch him because you want to show your racist ways you want to show who you are i'm so happy y'all and i do not condone violence but i am so happy to see all those black people come together and whoop get to come beat us up and then think we ain't gonna respond really man i'm telling you that video yo had me on another level of like y'all i was so i was so disturbed by this i was like whoa is this what we doing? Is this what we doing? It pissed me off. I, I'm telling you. It literally disturbed the crap out of me. If it don't disturb you, something wrong. If it does not disturb you, something is wrong. With the fact that they was beating up on that black man like that. If it does not disturb you, something is wrong with you. Period. Because nobody has any right to beat up on any person if they have not laid hands on them. If they have not touched them. I was so mad. I was so mad watching that video. It disturbed me so much. But I got to go. I will talk to y'all in the next one.